Hello everybody, I'm Max Reddick from Nerdy Tech Talk, and welcome to Nerdy Tech Talk. Welcome to Nerd Tech Talk. My name is Max Reck, and welcome to a special episode of Nerd Tech Talk, because today we'll be reviewing the iPhone 4S. Now, some of you may be wondering how us folks at Nerd Tech Talk got a, an exclusive iPhone 4S, um, and I'll tell you why. Now, the answer may surprise you. Uh, here's the answer. It shouldn't surprise you. Uh, the iPhone 4S has not come out yet. How on earth could I have an iPhone 4S? I don't. That was an iPhone 4. They look identical. It's what's inside that counts on this one. Now, the iPhone 4S is not that different from the iPhone 4 in appearance. Um, it has the same body. Uh, it's got the same, you know, uh, rectangular, um, curved rectangular shape. Uh, it's what's inside that counts. This new iPhone 4S, uh, the hardware is completely different. They redid the antenna, which will intelligently switch between the two antennas for no more dropped calls. Uh, they included uh, a dual-core A5 processor, as well as a new 8 me megapixel camera that will shoot in 1080p HD as opposed to the previous 720. Now, I did say it's what's inside that's different, and now, although what's inside the actual hardware is different, it's what's inside the software that is really astonishing. Now, the iPhone 4S may be a technological advancement in hardware, but the software is years ahead of its time. Apple recently unveiled iOS 5, the new mobile operating system that the iPhone will run on. This introduces um, features such as tweeting from anywhere, um, cloud computing, and most importantly, Siri. Siri. Siri is your iPhone's personal secretary. Unlike other voice recognition softwares, Siri recognizes the actual voices and speech patterns and learns your voice. You can ask Siri anything. Now, you can tell it to send a text message, you can tell it to check the weather, you can tell it to check your stock, you can tell it to wake you up at 6 a.m., you can tell it to schedule an appointment for you for Friday, you can tell it to reply to a text message, you can dictate it and tell it to write you an email. Uh, you can do anything with this. Uh, and the coolest thing is, it doesn't just rely on commands. You can tell it anything. You can say, do I need an umbrella? You can say, what's the weather like? You can say, is it cold outside? You can say, what should I wear today? Uh, probably not that. Um, and Siri will understand what you're saying and give you actual results based on that. Um, the coolest thing is, you can do it without even touching the screen. You don't even have to look. You can press the little Siri button, and then you can be on a jog. You can talk to it. You can tell it to do all the stuff. It'll read it back to you. It's all completely into into it. Intuit, intuitive, intuit, intuitive, intuitive. It's all completely intuitive, uh, and it reacts to your voice. Siri is so easy to use. Um, it knows so much. Personally, I'm just scary when it learns how to think because you know then it's gonna go all like Terminator on us. But uh, just me. Now, iOS 5 has got crazy other stuff too. Cloud computing. You can sync your iTunes with your device, your iPad, your iPhone, your computer. Update it all. Do so. It'll contain the exact same music free downloads, all that stuff. Um, you can use an HDMI cable and mirror it to your TV. Uh, crazy, lots of crazy stuff. You can tweet um, from any application you're in, anywhere. Um, you know, they redid everything. Uh, it looks different, it feels different, it's more responsive. Uh, and really, the fun thing about the new iOS 5 is um, how advanced it is. Uh, people take for granted how advanced this new voice recognition software is, or all this stuff, but this is years ahead of its time. Uh, guys, one more thing before, um, before I leave. Uh, right now it is 9.48 and 26 seconds p.m. on October 5th, uh, and something devastating has happened not three hours ago. Steve Jobs, CEO, creator, founder, innovator, inventor, uh, and a great man, uh, died, re died today due to pancreatic cancer. Um, this is a very sad event. Uh, may very well mark the end of a decade. It's just a tragedy uh, to all of us. Um, Steve Jobs was a man who changed the world um, with his computers, uh, his ideas, um, from his business uh, to his actual products, uh, to just the way he did things. Steve Jobs was his own brand um, in himself, and nobody will ever be able to replace that. Uh, and it's all just very sad. Um, so I hope uh, you all think about Steve Jobs, maybe read an article or two about him, I know they're everywhere, because uh, he really was an incredible person. Uh, so, thank you, I'm Max Reddick, and this has been Nerdy Tech Talk. Uh, rest in peace, Steve Jobs.